Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will be talking about Quranic pedagogy and technology. Um, welcome everybody. Today we are exploring how uh, Quranic values intersect with uh, modern technology in education. Well, integrating these values isn't just about preserving tradition. It's about enhancing learning accessibility and engagement. And uh, throughout this session, we'll discuss Quranic pedagogical principle uh, and then the impact of technology and how to uh, actually ethically integrate both. And uh, let's dive into Quranic pedagogy and technology. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and then we will be talking about uh, understanding Quranic pedagogy. Quranic pedagogy refers to educational methods and values derived from the Quran and they emphasize holistic education, ethics, and character development rooted in Islamic teaching. And uh, the key principles of Quranic pedagogy is the first is tahwit, yeah, uh, or oneness of God. Quranic pedagogy emphasizes understanding and living by the principle of tawhid. Uh, which establishes the oneness of God uh, as the foundational belief guiding all aspects of life and learning. And the next principle is emphasis on knowledge, wisdom, and guidance. Uh, this highlights the acquisition of knowledge and wisdom through the Quran's teaching, which provide guidance for personal growth and understanding. And the third principle is the importance of moral and ethical education. Uh, Quranic um, pedagogy, ladies and gentlemen, integrates teaching and moral conduct and ethical behavior, nurturing students to embody values such as compassion, justice, and integrity. This approach aims to cultivate well-rounded individuals who are not only knowledgeable but also ethical and, and spiritually aware, aligning education closely with Islamic uh, principles. And then let's turn to traditional method in Quranic uh, education. Um, ladies and gentlemen, in Quranic education, traditional methods prioritize the first is oral transmission and direct interactions. The Quran has historically been transmitted orally from teacher to student, answering accuracy and spiritual depth in understanding. A direct interaction with qualified teachers fosters personalized guidance and mentorship. And the next one is uh, the emphasis on memorized sessions uh, and recitations. Students focus on memorizing the Quran and mastering the correct recitation or touch with yeah. reflecting dedication to preserving the text integrity and, and beauty. And the next uh, priority is the role of qualified teachers and scholars. Educators known as Usta or Ustada, yeah, alongside scholars known as Mufassir or Interpreter, yeah, guide students in understanding the Quran's meaning and application in daily life. Um, this method, uh, of course, will uphold the sacredness of the Quranic learning and answer continuity of knowledge passed down through generations. Maintaining the authenticity in both content and uh, practice. Um, well, next, let's highlight the challenge uh, in Quranic uh, pedagogy. Um, when it comes to uh, the challenge in modern uh, context, it is important to uh, consider the maintenance of authenticity and reference in a digital learning environment. Uh, adapting traditional reference and respect for the Quran in, in digital formats can be challenging as digital platforms may not always convey the same sacredness as physical text. And the next uh, consideration is answering proper interpretation and scholarly guidance. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, that digital platforms introduce the potential for varied interpretations that may diverge from traditional scholarly norms. Ensuring accuracy and credibility of interpretations uh, becomes very important. 
and the next ones the next ones is or the next issue is balancing tradition with uh, technological innovation integrating technological tools while preserving the integrity of traditional teaching methods poses a balancing act it is essential to harness innovation without compromising the authenticity and efficacy of Quranic education and uh, uh, addressing this these challenges involves a thoughtful consideration of how technology can enhance accessibility and engagement while upholding the sacredness, authenticity and scholarly rigor uh, integral to Quranic uh, pedagogy. For attaining integration of, of technology, opportunities with technology increase accessibility to Quranic education globally. Uh, technology allows for broader access to Quranic education regardless of a geographical location, facilitating learning for diverse communities worldwide. And it is also interesting to highlight the interactive learning platforms, application and online resources. Uh, platform and, and applications offer interactive tools for learning Quranic texts, recitation and understanding. These resources engage students to multimedia, quizzes and virtual communities. Um, another important aspect is uh, the enhancing or the enhancement of engagement and personalized learning experiences. Technologies enable personalized learning paths tailored to individual student needs and learning styles. Interactive features promote active participation and deeper engagement with the Quranic uh, teaching and uh, um, integrating uh, technology expands educational possibilities, making Quranic knowledge more accessible, engaging and adaptable to contemporary learning uh, preferences. Next is uh, ethical considerations. Ethical use of technology answering content authenticity and, and scholarly credibility. Um, it is important to verify that interpretations and educational materials aligns with traditional Quranic scholarship to maintain accuracy and scholarly integrity. And it is also very important when it comes to respecting the sanctity of Quranic text in a digital format. Uh, it means uh, we should treat the digital Quranic text with the same references and respect as physical copies, ensuring they are handled and presented uh, appropriately. And the next uh, issue is uh, the safeguarding prophecy and promoting responsible digital citizenship. It means that we have to protect students' privacy and data security while fostering ethical digital behaviors, ensuring a safe and respectful online learning environment. Uh, and uh, adhering to these ethical guidelines, of course, promote responsible use of technology and Quranic education, um, preserving the uh, sanctity of the text and fostering a supportive digital learning community. And, uh, let's discuss case studies and examples. One real world example of university integrating Quranic pedagogy with technology is the Islamic Online University or IOU. Uh, IOU offers online degree programs and courses that incorporate Quranic teaching alongside modern educational tools and technology. Uh, here is how they apply the Quranic pedagogy with uh, technology. Um, the first is uh, it provides online courses and program. Uh, IOU provides accessible online courses in various fields of Islamic studies, including Quranic sciences, tafsir, and tajwid, yeah, or Quranic recitation. Uh, students can access lectures, readings, and interactive materials to their online platforms. And uh, also, uh, they provide interactive learning tools. The university, of, uh, uh, the university utilize interactive tools such as discussion forums, live webinars, and multimedia resources to engage students and facilitate collaborative learning. 
and this university also emphasizes emphasizes the traditional values. Uh, despite being online, IOU maintains a strong emphasis on traditional Quranic values, ensuring that all teachings are in line with authentic Islamic scholarship and interpretations. And the uh, next issue uh, is the global accessibility. Um, I mean, this university uh, offer courses uh, online and it uh, allows this university to reach a global audience of students who may not have access to traditional Quranic education locally, thereby increasing accessibility and promoting lifelong learning. And uh, this example illustrates how universities like IOU blend Quranic pedagogy with modern technology to enhance accessibility, engagement, and educational outcomes in the field of Quranic studies. Then let's discuss the future directions and recommendations um, when it comes to this uh, issue. Um, it is important to project the future trend, potential advancements in technology. Um, we need to anticipate advancements such as uh, AI-driven uh, personalized learning, virtual reality, simulation for immersive Quranic experiences, as well as uh, enhanced digital libraries for comprehensive Quranic uh, resources. And the impact of, on the Quranic pedagogy needs also to be considered. These advancements can uh, revolutionize how Quran knowledge is success, understood and taught, offering new methods for engagement and explorations. And uh, the recommendation for educators and institutions uh, that can be proposed is adaptation and innovations. Yeah. This encourages educators and institutions to embrace technological advancement while preserving the authenticity and sanctity of Quranic teaching and uh, responsible integrations needs also to be proposed. This uh, is to advocate for responsible use of technology, ensuring that ethical consideration, uh, scholarly credibility, and cultural sensitivity are upheld in the Quranic education. And for conclusion, as the key takeaways um, that we can obtain for today, um, Quranic pedagogy, ladies and gentlemen, uh, emphasize holistic education. I mean, the, the principles of Quranic pedagogy focuses on the holistic education, ethic, and uh, character development. And challenges include maintaining authenticity in digital environments and balancing tradition with technological innovations. And uh, the next uh, issue is the integration of of technology. Uh, technology offers opportunities for increased accessibility and engagement in Quranic education, but requires ethical consideration and careful integration. Uh, so this is very, very important to to maintain the balance. Yeah, uh, it is it is crucial, uh, really, really crucial to maintain that uh, or to maintain a balance between a traditional teaching method rooted in Quranic values and innovative technology, technological tools to ensure a comprehensive and respectful approach to Quranic education. Uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.